Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can find uh, all servers of your game and how you can actually join them. So here's what I got. This is my test project and here I packaged uh, this one out so I can run this as a real game on my other netbook. And here I actually started it on my netbook. You can see this here on Steam on my friend list. Project W is the name of this account. And yeah, I created a server there with this one here uh, called my test name and I use theme. And now if we go to find servers, again, this is very simple here. You can switch to uh, search for LAN games, but we will search for Steam games now. So this takes a bit of time, but there it goes. Here's my test server, 25 players. And yeah, the ping is uh, so high because this um, yeah, default Steam app ID has no good connections because yeah, it's just for testing. So yeah, this here is everything and now you can click on join server. This will also take a little bit of time. And as you see, we spawn here in the world. There is uh, my netbook and I can prove you that he can also walk. So now I'm currently uh, moving him through the world. And yeah, that's everything for this uh, yeah, tutorial um, with Q you can also uh, just leave the game. So this is something uh, someone requested in the latest later video. So press Q and you're out of this uh, server. So yeah, let's get started. So before we continue, I have some tips for you. So if you uh, renamed your project or moved your project and you packaged your project before and then you want to package your project again, then you will come across uh, one problem. So yeah, before just create a folder where we will extract our uh, project to. And as you saw here, um, we go to an error unknown error. And this one says that uh, the key element is, is uh, already been uh, put together. So to fix this, actually, you just have to uh, open your project folder and then under intermediate and under source you have here target CS and as you can see uh, this was the name before and this is the name now and this won't work here so just delete both and then you can easily package this one so I won't show this now but it works so uh, and another problem I faced was uh, because I have two maps not both maps were included so open up project settings Go to packaging and here open up the drop down and under a list of maps to include. Um, yeah, make an add here and then choose the map. So mine is here under Unreal Project. And one another tip is don't use spaces here. Like here in this folder, there are spaces and don't use some special letter letters that are not in the English. Uh, language like, for example, this one, uh, this one here with an, an A with two dots above. So if you use this, um, the game won't, uh, yeah, include here the maps. So this is why I make there the underscore. And yeah, if you did this here, you can now find your map. So mine was here, and. There is it, so it will be included now. Um, the map that is already open or the start map uh, don't need to be included because yeah, it's the default start map. It will automatically uh, include it. So we can save this and yeah, that's everything. Let's continue with our main menu now. So open our main menu up and one thing someone noticed on Facebook is that uh, under the create server you can uh, actually set this visibility not to hidden because it will also occupy its layout space but instead to collapse so it will take up no layout space. So this is the one fix we have to do and then we can just make this invisible and close this up here. Maybe we copy this just over and put this in and we call this find server. 
So make this visible again. And let's see what we need here. So we don't need this, we don't need this. We will leave this one and this one there. So let's first make here the positions. So position in X should be 500. So we have here now 500 in space and top 20 and bottom 20 like this. So we will re rename this now. So find all servers. And what I actually did was just delete here everything up. So we have only this horizontal box here and we want to add a button here. So search button, give him some text like this, search and then also check box. So we can check if we should use for LAN. So, whoops, this is annoying. So, and use LAN. And let's make it into the middle. So for this one, I, uh, or for the horizontal box at all, let's just make it to the right side here, like this. And now for the content here, we need to have a scroll box and oops, here above in the middle. And let's see, why is this so small here? Should be this button here, yeah, automatic. Yeah, like this. So now the scroll box is uh, full size. And since this can not have childs, we will also add a vertical box to it. Where we'll have uh, or where we can easy charge to. So um, also the vertical box needs to be a variable. So let's call this server content or something like this. And let's next up we need to create another widget which we will add to the uh, scroll box. So this one will be create server for example or server data. Uh, so I will just need. Uh, Call this create server, and here also custom because I want to have it the same size as this uh, box here. So for the width, this is 1380, and for the height, it's 15. And as you maybe noticed before, I have some problems with canvas panel and then adding charts. All I do here is always first implementing a size box and then give him the same width and height override. Because sometimes I do this not, uh, everything will not show up correctly. So this is just a yeah bug fix, I guess. So yeah, I just work with this. So next up, I want to have here a panel and I will use grid panel. And this grid panel will have one row and four columns. So this is Point two, this is point two, and this is point two, like this, and the last one will be point four. And then I just add some horizontal boxes to this grid panel. So we give them zero and zero. And we copy this over here four times and just move it on step into this and move this one into the f uh, third column. So as you can see now, here it is automatically to this uh, correct size. So um, yeah, next up I will add a text boxes to this horizontal boxes here, which will be filled and aligned to the middle. But before, let's see. The grid panel is full size. And the one thing I forgot is to make the row, of course, uh, at one. So this is the scale, so it fills the complete uh, yeah, widget. So now for the text block, it's in the middle here. Let's copy this and paste it here and paste it there. So this one will be the uh, get name. 
or let's first um, add our server data. So go to graph and add a variable here, which will be data. And this one will be session, blueprint session result, this one here. And it should be editable and expose and spawn. So compile and save. Now, when we go to the main menu, we want to click here on our button. So here in the left side, click on the button. Sorry, my fault here. Scroll down, click on clicked. And then we want to find a session advanced. So I go through this very easy. So you could very uh, carefully change everything there, but I will use the uh, yeah normal things just. So max results, I will just leave it at 1000. I use LIN, let's create a variable called use LIN. And since this is a defined session, use LAN boolean, I just called it two. So because we have here two use LAN functions or booleans. And yeah, you could also add filters, but we won't do this here now. So from this one, we want to have a for each loop. And from the on success, we want to actually create a widget. So this widget will be our create server and the data goes here from the array element. And next up, we want to have here a find server box, vertical box, want to get it. And we want to add a child to this box. And of course, this child will be here, the content of this widget. So next from this widget, we want to make sure we add to viewport just in case we uh, miss something. So like this, save this up. And yeah, that's it for this one here. Actually, we can go to the designer tab and make this use the LIN checkbox here and add the function. So if it's checked, then we want to set use LAN to true. So very simple here. And maybe we will just copy this here over and paste it into the box. And we will call this find servers, um, which also gets an on clicked. This one here. And let's move it here to the other on clicked. So um, when we click on this one, we want to make sure that create server is collapsed and then get this box here find server okay my fault here find server is the name of this one and find server here is incorrect so we want to have the name of server content which is this box here so this uh, vertical box here is the one we want to add the charts. So sorry, this is my fault. At the find server, we want to set visible here. At this point, and when we click on the create server, we want to make this collapsed. So very simple. You can also test it here. So create server opens this one, and find server opens this one. So yeah, easy switch between those two. And here we can go to the designer tab and actually delete this button here because we don't need it. And we can compile and save this one. So the last thing we need to do is I'll work here with the data from the create server. So we create here a binding for this one. This is the name. We get the data and then we want to get session ex extra settings. Sorry, this name. So here this one gets all the extra settings we had for our server, set it up in the main menu here. So this one here. And then we want to actually find, no, get session property string, this one here. And we want to connect those extra settings to this. And the name was game name, I think. Let me check, yeah, game name. And if we found this setting, we want to put this value into this. So this is the place where you can also work with um, 
other things like uh, filters and uh, password and all this stuff. Maybe I will do this in a later video. So let's get back here. For this one, I just did uh, the get data and get mox players here, which is very simple. And for the ping, I did the same get data and get ping in milliseconds. So this one here, compile and save. And for the last one, I did just a button and a text to it. Let's make this button into the middle. And this text is join server maybe. Yeah, this is better. So, and everything this does on the on click is just join the ses session. And the search result is the data of this widget. The controller that wants to uh, join is the current player controller. And you don't need to have uh, to do here anything else. So this is everything we need to do. And yeah, actually we are uh, finished with this part of the tutorial. And yeah, I will uh, now package this project, move it to my other PC and then test it out. So uh, I will pause here now. Before I package this, uh, let me just answer some questions. So here dedicated server is possible. Um, but I don't know how to do this in blueprints, but you can uh, just simply go to the uh, forum here and scroll through these pages or search for this. And I think here are some tips for you. And yeah, the next thing was uh, someone asked how to uh, close actually um, the session. So I will just use here the Q key and then destroy the session. And we want to get the player controller here and then on success open the level, which is the main menu. And yeah, that's everything. So don't end session, always destroy the session. And yeah, compile and save. And now I can actually package this. And I'm back. So I packaged this project, but I went to some errors. So if you uh, moved like I, the project folder every time to another place, so where is it here, this one, then you need to uh, click under project settings, under packaging on to full rebuild. So it will completely um, package the project uh, again. So if I would add here now a new widget, it will only um, build uh, the new widget to the project if I didn't click on this. So yeah, if you go to some errors, you can click on this one here. So here's what I got. Uh, I moved this to my um, other PC and opened uh, uh, my test server. And yeah, as you can see here, the overlay works and project W is in game actually. And now if I click here on find servers and search for this, you will see that here is uh, the my test server where we can actually also join. And yeah, this takes you a bit of time, but this is just for showing and here we are. So you can also move and yeah, that's everything we need to do for this. So I press Q to leave this and Q here. And that's it for this tutorial. Um, yeah, however, the use LAN feature at the moment won't work. I don't really know why, but I will uh, find this problem and fix it in a later video. And yeah, instead you can just play over Steam now. So thanks for watching and yeah, have a nice day. Bye.